Hello everyone, Dustin Zander with Creating the Difference. As we all know, surface is one of the most important components to your ball reaction. So what is the performance difference between TrueCut, Avalon, Sayer, and Pure Surface 2000 grit sanding pads? All shots in this video are thrown in this research hot shot and thrown by a robot. And here are the bowler variables you use for the robot. These are meant to replicate how the average bowler would throw the bowling ball, and each shot thrown by the robot is tracked by Specto. Let's first start with True Cut Sanding Pads. And True Cut Sanding Pads are actually designed for bowling balls. Using Specto, we can track the breakpoint distance, breakpoint board, as well as the board at 60 feet. Next, let's move on to Avalon Pads. And this bowling ball received a scan of 3813 before its first shot. Next up, we have the Sayer Micro Pads and this bowling ball scanned at 4051 before this shot. This sanding pad actually gave us the most length when compared to the other sanding pads in this test. Finally, we have the Pure Surface sanding pad, and you'll notice that all of the sanding pads, Avalon, Sire, and Pure Surface, are scanning anywhere from 1200 to 2100 points higher than what's written on the pad. Stay tuned to find out why. Now let's take a look at where these bowling balls exit the pin deck. And this is a very important component to having good ball reaction. First you'll see the true cut bowling ball. This goes over the 8 pin as it exits the pin deck. And this is a very good ball reaction to have because we know our bowling ball is driving through the pins. Next with the Avalon, Sayre, and Pure Surface, we can see that we actually got some deflection off the head pin, which made the bowling ball go over the 9 pin spot. And this deflection can cause leaves like the flat 10 pin. Here's a photo of all the sanding pads that were used in this test. Now let's talk about the advantages of using a true cut sanding pad. True cut sanding pads are actually designed to cut a bowling ball at the number that's written on the sanding pad. And this weave design shown here allows the material to fall into the sanding pad as opposed to staying on the surface which doesn't allow the sanding pad to cut the bowling ball and in turn increases the grit number we receive when we scan it. Now let's take one last look at the true cut sanding pad performance data. And this data was tracked by Specto and compared to the 2000 grit Avalon bowling ball. Because of the surface difference, we saw increased length out of the bowling ball sanded with Avalon. Now let's compare the bowling ball surface with the 2000 grit True Cut Sandy Pad to the same bowling ball surface with the 2000 grit Sire Micro Pad. And the Sire Micro Pad actually gave us the least amount of performance when compared to the other three sanding pads in this test. And finally, we have the True Cut Sandy Pad compared to the Pure Surface Sandy Pad. And once again, because of the massive surface difference, we saw increased length out of the bowling ball sanded with the Pure Surface Sandy Pad. In conclusion, True Cut Sandy Pads are designed to cut bowling balls. The weave design actually allows the material to fall into the pad and lets you keep cutting the bowling ball. Understanding your Sandy Pad's performance, whether it be True Cut, Avalon, Sayer, or Pure Surface, it's important to having an accurate surface on your bowling ball. And finally, regardless of the type of sanding pad you use, surface is still one of the most important components to ball reaction. What did you learn in this video? Feel free to comment below and let us know. And also, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more educational content. If you have more questions or need more information, feel free to check us out at ctdbowling.com. Dustin Zaner with Creating the Difference. Have a great day.